What is up guys? My name's Eric. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a card that I kind of don't care much for. I like the tribe. I don't care much for the card, but I have seen it in action and it can be a little bit nerve-wracking when you're staring down this guy. Today's card is Noosegraph Mob. Four black black. It's a zero zero zombie. Enter, Noosegraph Mob enters the battlefield with five plus one plus encounters on it. Whenever a player casts a spell, remove a plus one plus one counter from Noosegraph Mob. If you do, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie token onto the battlefield. Looking at this, you go, okay, well, it's a 5-5. Five -five. That's cool. But do you want it to be a 5-5 five -five or do you want to make the zombie tokens? And in my personal experience, I would say you want spells to be played quick and fast and hard and speedy and all those kinds of ways, all those words, because you get those zombies and I like that a lot more than having a 5-5 five -five, because if this guy dies, I mean, if they can kill it, they'll cast one spell and take it out. Well, you got one zombie out of it. And that's unfortunate because you just trade a 4-4 four, four and a 2, a 5-5 five, five that turns into a 4-4 four, four and a 2-2 two, two, in, into a 2-2. Two, two. You know, it's not great value there. But if you can play this and let's say you can put plus one counters on it, oh damn, that will add up and that will be ridiculous. Will it be played in, you know, top tier decks like in standard or modern? No, I most certainly do not think so. But looking at it, you know, I like it and I have seen it played in draft and it was a little bit of a problem for me because I was playing the blue red spells deck. So I had to cast multiple spells to get it down and I believe what I did is I burned it for three so he got one zombie and then I just played another's, I think I might have played like take inventory to draw a card. So he got another zombie and then that gave it three damage right there and it took out the mob but I still had the two zombies to deal with. It's annoying in draft. I don't think you want to play it in standard. Definitely not modern. Probably not EDH. I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it. I'm not debating doing that, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. But looking at this guy in draft, he can be rather scary. Uh, today, I'm going to have to say, I'm a little bit short on this one, but today I'm going to say in draft, let's give him a 4. Because those zombie tokens coming down like that, it can be rather annoying and problematic dealing with the zombies you know and draft obviously not a problem standard there's one maybe two i think there's just one lord at the moment in standard modern there's more than that there's death baron is the first one that comes to mind and it's probably the best zombie lord because it gives death touch and skeletons but i don't think that's why it's expensive i think it's because it's death touch and plus plus one to zombies but i think this guy Looks pretty good if you can find a way to put more counters on him. Or uh, when he gets down to one if or two, you know, low. We'll say low. If you flicker him real quick, you know, all right. Five counters again. You can keep churning out those zombies. You get plus one counters on him. That's cool. I don't think you can do any of that in draft. You can flicker him. But, uh, yeah, it it's kind of a, a wombo combo, as some people say. It's kind of wonky, you know, but... Four on draft, because it can be intimidating. Three in standard. I'm mostly thinking about that with Gisa and Garalf and all the good removal and bounce spells. Uh, so you removal, you do removal on their creatures at the end of the turn. You get your zombies. Uh, your turn starts. You can bounce or flicker Newscraft Mob, or you can just let him die, and the Gisa and Garalf bring him back, and you can keep going with more and more tokens. But by himself, eh, he's alright. I think if you just slam him down and let the opponent play spells to get the zombie tokens going, that's fine too because it, it really makes them think about what they want to play. Their, their spells really have to be that much more impactful in order to do it and make it worth it. On modern though, uh, two, and I think that might be the touch generous. I don't think you're going to play this guy in modern. I know zombies are, um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure zombies are a thing in modern, but I don't think that this guy is even going to be considered for the zombie deck, and why would you put him in any other deck, like elves or dragons, you know? I don't think it's going to happen. So, yeah, it's, it's a 2 on modern. EDH, though, a 2.5. Um, I'm not considering putting him in any of my EDH decks, but that doesn't mean he's a bad card for the zombie tribe. If you can... Like, it's not hard to do it, but if you can keep bringing him back out of the graveyard, I could see how that could be a problem. Maybe in Gave, because he does make tokens, and you can move plus one counters onto him. You can keep making those zombie tokens. 
It, yeah, it, it's one of those things. I, I'm not going to consider playing it because I don't like how I can't con really control when counters are coming off, when I get the tokens. It just kind of happens off other spells being played. And that's the one thing that really sticks in my mind that I don't like about him. But that's my opinion on News Graph Mob. If you have a different opinion, I'd like to hear it down below. If you like what I have to say, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time.